Good morning, Lynn the Leather Bag Lady here and uh, ready to share three really great bags with you. Um, three great companies. I've got some stories to share with you today. So that's kind of neat. Uh, the last few videos were just about the bags and not about the stories. And I kind of am all about the stories. Um, as always, share with you, these bags are all available in my Etsy store. I'll leave the address down below. Um, I actually linked my YouTube to my Facebook. I'm learning, people. It's uh, it's a really uh, tough thing to be in your 50s and uh, trying to navigate the social media world uh, with very little uh, knowledge. So um, I'm doing okay. So first bag is um, beautiful, beautiful winter red is what this color is called. Uh, just a little shoulder bag. There are a couple of uh, holes if you wanted to to uh, uh, change the length, but that's probably as long as it's going to go. So it really is just a shoulder bag, but really nice color. There are some uh, there are some scratches in the leather if you can see that zipper in the back and um, leather interior zipper that old uh, 90s uh, Aldo uh, label. Aldo is a Canadian company out of uh, Montreal. They've been around for a long time, back in the 80s. Uh, if you wanted a, a reasonably priced pair of leather something, shoes, boots, uh, Aldo's where you went. And they were always quite fashionable. They actually supplied uh, Le Chateau, which I, I didn't realize that. And then uh, they bought out Calderon. I don't know if any of you out there, another Canadian uh, brand, Calderon, which was just a little bit of a step up from Aldo. So, you know, Aldo was probably, you know, the young, you know, 18 to 25. And then Calderon was kind of your, your business, a uh, little bit more of an upmarket. Aldo bought them out and... Um, now Calderon is gone, obviously Aldo bought them out and you'll be, I don't think Aldo has anything leather now. It's all very uh, low budget, um, uh, you know, vinyl throwaway stuff. So to get some of this Canadian branded vintage stuff is really kind of cool, I think. And um, companies that, you know, I used to buy stuff from, you know, when I was in my late teens, early 20s, and the, the fact that they're still around and you can find really nice stuff like this is awesome. So that's uh, first bag. Second bag is um, is a black uh, bag by Todd's. Now, Todd's is kind of a bit of a sleeper luxury brand. I didn't know much about Todd's. Um, I've got some notes here just because, you know, some of this information is so important and I don't want to forget it. So they've been around since the 20s and um, they started out just with shoes primarily. And then um, they were based in Italy. So they are, I mean, they're a real fashion house. And in 1947, they started their um, migration into other countries. And I think it was 1970, they started their first American manufacturing effort. And um, they are considered a luxury brand. Their, their items are manufactured with an element of handmade. Uh, so some of it is uh, machine, some of it is handmade. And um, you'll see every now and again, um, can't remember what movie it is. Um, Kate Hudson has a Todd's bag on her shoulder. And I had that particular bag. And I was like, oh, you know, it obviously they don't put rubbish in movies, or at least I don't think they do. So, I mean, some of the details here, you've just got some, some stitching, some stitching all the way around. The strap is uh, stitching all the way around as well. You've got the Todd's insignia here. Um, again, this is probably from, I would say, mid to late 90s. Um, so there's not a lot of outside pocketing. Um, you know, phones were around, but they weren't huge. So you do have a little uh, phone area. 
and a uh, zipper inside and it's kind of like a suede interior and it does have the zipper across but it, it very much is a shoulder bag um, but just a, a great uh, a great company and they do have uh, stores all over uh, the world actually um, so that again if if you are looking for a superior quality bag without having to pay the you know the Louis Vuitton prices um, this is this is a great bag now the favorite of what I'm showing you today I just love this brown caramel color doesn't seem to be that popular um, and I've said this before in another video if you like vintage you're kind of gonna have to get used to this color because this is pretty staple in the vintage bag world and this is it's got kind of a mock croc kind of look now this bag is by Talbot's now Talbot's has been around um, since again 1947 a husband and wife team who um, started this brand and actually uh, had storefronts and they were known as the store with the red door and I'm not sure their label has um, yeah they're they're the T if you can see that the T in the Talbot is red so I'm not sure what that was all about. Make sure I haven't. Uh... Yep. Yeah, that's 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 kind of the key element there. But this is a great, really nice, rich colored bag. Has uh, compartments. Again, I've said this many times. Today's bags, you just are not getting compartments. Um, there's a zipper inside. It has got a leather interior and um, it has quite a long strap so easily could be worn as a crossbody a little bit of uh, a little bit of wear on the side of the strap that's my number one complaint on the new leather bags is the plastic gunk that they put on either side of the strap now if you've seen my video of my stock room i have hundreds and hundreds of bags these bags have to be in a climate controlled environment. I've learned that the hard way. I took a storage unit out a number of years ago that wasn't climate controlled and I had some beautiful coach bags. Now when I get these bags, they're all professionally cleaned inside and out. Now, a lot of moisture goes into this leather because oftentimes the leather is really dry. So if you put that into an environment where it's gonna freeze, what happened? I picked up this beautiful coral coach bag and the, the strap just snapped right into. And the bag is now garbage. So um, I learned that the hard way. But equally, the heat, that plastic rubbish that they put on the straps, if you put that up against another bag, which I do, and again, if you've seen that video, you see all my bags are side by side by side. If that gets heated again in a non-climate controlled storage facility that plastic melts so now you've not only ruined one bag you've ruined two bags so these are just the little bits of of learning that i've uh kind of learned the hard way with over the years of, of running this little business of mine but it's just cheap it's just cheap. I mean, some of these companies, it's just a wax that they rub on the edge. But it has to be solid leather to do that. And that's not the case these days. I don't know if you've ever bought a belt that says it's leather and it's not. It's just a skim of leather. A bonded leather, I guess, is what they call it in the furniture world. And it's just garbage. So a solid leather strap, you just don't get it anymore. In, in today's bags. I get it that the competition is insane. You know, you've got your uh, brands that are just having to come down and down and down in price because of, you know, our, our uh, made in China's. And, but I mean, even bags back in the 50s and 60s, there was bags made in China back in the 50s and 60s and the, and the quality was, was just so much better. But that's another argument for compartments. If you, you have to pay for extra leather, extra zippers, extra internal fabrics to make compartments. So you're not getting the compartments today that you, um, you, you used to get back in the vintage. So, but for that, you have to sacrifice. Like this doesn't have an outside 
uh, compartment, for example. But there's two side pockets. So give and take. So hopefully you learned a little bit today about uh, these three great brands, Aldo, Todd's and Talbot's. And um, we'll see you next time. Take care.